Hi, welcome back. The problem today is a really difficult exponential equation that x is a prime number. Now, let's get started. We have 2 power of 2x squared minus 6x plus 2 equal to 2x plus 1 over x minus 1 square. So first of all, we have to put the domain of x, it means the condition of x. Then the left hand side, the left hand side always greater than 0, this means the right hand side should have greater than 0 as well and it means 2x plus 1 has to be greater than 0 and x has to be different from 1 because this is the denominator that cannot be equal to 0 then it means the condition of x is x greater than negative 1 over 2 and x different from 1. So that is the condition of x for this equation. Now, for the next step, we consider the right hand side. The right hand side equal to 2x plus 1 over 2x minus 1 square. So we have no clue to see the, the way to solve this equation by a transformation or factorizing because on the left hand side that is um represent contain the exponent with the uh, x expression and on the right hand side that's e the expression um, contain the numerator and denominator with x value as well so we will try to lock base 2 because this is this is page 2 so we try to lock base 2 both sides of the equation then if the right hand side lock by 2 lock by 2 of the right hand side this will equal to lock by 2 of 2x plus 1 over x minus 1 square and for the left hand side it's equal to 2 power of 2x square minus 6x plus 2 then log by 2 of the left hand side will be equal to 2x square minus 6x plus 2 now we rewrite the equation we will have 2x square minus 6x plus 2 equal to log base 2 of 2x plus 1 over x minus 1 square so we we can see uh, the connection between the left hand side and the right hand side for the left hand side, we just rewrite 2x squared minus 6x plus 2. On the right hand side, this will be equal to log by 2 of 2x plus 1 and minus log by 2 of x minus 1 square. So, 
you see this will contain uh, the x square but the the values of x square in this case just um, two just one so it is another number that is the coefficient of x square in the left hand side is two so we have to match that equal together to match that equal together so you have to transform the right hand side by minus lock by two of x square x minus one square plus lock by two up two because lock by two up two equal to one so it means this is minus one is if the left hand the right hand side minus one so it means the right hand side also minus one this is will minus one equal to one so we will have lock by two up two x plus one minus lock by two up two multiply by x minus one square so now you can see the the subtraction between this and this will be equal to left hand side you see that 2x square minus 4x plus 2 minus 2x plus 1 will be equal to 2x square minus 6x minus plus 1 then then you can rewrite like this this would be 2x square minus sorry you can rewrite like this 2x square x minus 1 square minus 2x plus 1 equal to lock by 2 of x 2x plus 1 minus lock by 2 of 2 multiplied by x minus 1 square then transform it we have 2x plus 1 square plus lock by 2 of 2 multiplied by x minus 1 square equal to 2x plus 1 plus lock 2 by 2 of 2x plus 1 so now you see there is the same function on both sides, the left hand side and the right hand side. You will have you will let the f x equal to let let try another letter f k equal to k plus block by two of k so we have f 2x square minus 1 square equal to f 2x plus 1 and if f if 2x minus 
one square greater than two x plus one. Then the log base of two x minus one would be greater than log by two of two x plus one. So it means the equality can happen in this case. So for another case that two multiply by x plus one minus one square smaller than two x plus one. The same we have log by two of two multiply by x minus one square smaller than log by two of 2x plus 1. So the equality of this cannot happen as well. Then we can conclude that 2x minus 1 square have to be equal to 2x plus 1. Finally, this will be become a simple related equation 2x square minus 6x plus 1 equal to 0 then it means x equal to 3 plus square root of 7 over 2 or x equal to 3 minus square root of 7 over 2. Then we compare the root with the domain at the beginning, this one, and this satisfies two conditions that is greater than negative 1 over 2 and also different from 1. Then we receive two values here. Finally, the solution of this equation is 3 plus square root of 7 over 2 or 3 minus square root of 7 over 2. So the lesson from this equation is when you see that uh, a bit weird form of the equation, on the left hand side we have the exponential expression but on the right hand side there is the from the numerator and the denominator is either the fraction, the, the fraction expression that contains x values. So you can try this way to lock both sides of the equation and the base of lock is the, the value here. In this case, it is 2. Then try to transform the expression inside the lock and connect it with the expression outside the lock in this case it's the left hand side and see the common form on both sides and you can find the function like this and this should be this should be the function um, would have the same value on both sides if not it cannot have the equality like this or like this, we have to receive this. Then finally, this become a very simple variety equation, and we try to apply the formula to find the roots of a function. So that is the method to solve that equation. That's all. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.